Hi there. We got our fridge. We're going to make a kegerator. Let's take a look, shall we? All right, there it is. Wrenched it in from the backyard, into the backyard, through the front. <laughs> that was a trick. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but not as easy as I'd hoped. Um, a couple of things that I look for in a fridge. If one is relatively new, which this is, seeing how I paid $75 for it. Um, had to have a freezer on top, and I'll show you why in a minute. And I, the color I didn't care about, but the size was kind of an issue. Wanted one that was at least a certain minimum size. Has a freezer. On and everything's working. Has an ice maker, although I will not need that. This will be hop storage and glass storage and things like that. And the bottom part, all these shelves, including these, I will remove and do something with. Um, the draft lines are going to go eventually right. I'm going to take this shelf out and they're going to go right in here. Right in, right in, right in here. Right in here. Probably right in here. So the taps will go about here, I would think. I would think. And that is so I can operate the tap handles while still being able to open the freezer door. Um, I wanted to make sure that it had space to put, I'm going to put four draft lines, so I'm going to have space to put four draft lines on this side without having to mess with the butter dish over here. Okay, and that'll be bottle storage and what else? Like this. I should be able to get four cakes in here comfortably. Might be able to get another one in here just to carbonate things like that. So, a little cleaning right now, put the kegs in, and uh, we'll pr proceed a little later. Okay, here's some progress on the fridge. And we've got this sticker. Well, it's not really a sticker, I had to tape too. It's kind of fun. Your warning, this is my personal favorite. <laughs> All right. In here, we have some kegs in here. With some CO2 and the shelf built out of leftover uh, hardy backer but that's uh, that's what I had if you look back in there you look back in there you can see the keg is partly on the board partly in the back I have the CO2 tank in here now but I will put it on the outside eventually this is actually pretty good stuff full sale limited yeah good stuff beers nice and frosty yeah, so just gonna order the, uh, the stuff and then we'll. Uh, okay, kegerator is done. It's almost full, too. See, we have Sassy Southern Brown, Southern English, Dr. Bob's IPA, San Francisco Dreamin', and empty. But yeah, that's the thing. The uh, drip tray was actually this thing here drip tray. It's actually uh, held on with mounting tape. And it was one of the trays that was inside. It just kind of fit. Makes sense. And we have a CO2 tank in the back. We have this dual regulator. And then we have the spare CO2 tank that is full. And we have extra kegs. And let's take a look inside. Dun dun dun! Three kegs. Regulator. Yeast from the brews, which I'll show them later. Alright. California ale. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That should be great. A little later. We have the backing plate. And if you want to know how to do this, you can just look up uh, Don Osborne's video, because I did it kind of the same way he did. Although, I have to say, if you're going to do this by drilling holes through the fridge like this, really use a get a new hole saw bit yeah the new hole saw because they're not that expensive save yourself a lot of headache trust me on this one but there it is lovely lovely lovely